We are just seconds away now from puck drop. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. And Ross, close to finding a hole there and just an extra move. Thought he had a little more time and space than he actually had in the play dies. Scores! And make it double pitches for the rookie here on the season. Well, that's going to feel good, James. No question about it. Anytime you can get a marker, let alone 10, you feel like you've contributed and there's more room to go. Some goalies have cat-like reflexes in tonight. He's just a little slower, James, to get across, and unfortunately it hits him. He doesn't get all of it, and it winds up in the back of the net. 10 goals now for the rookie. I think it's fair to say he belongs. Well, he believes he belongs, no question about it, James. It's not just the production, but it's urgency around the puck. You can see that he's just eating up everything that the staff has to say to him. There's good communication on the ice. I feel like he believes that he's a big part of this group. Los Angeles moves ahead with the puck. Picked up along the wall by Kopitar. Francois' last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Great defensive effort with the stick. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Oh, a stick save and a butte. Minnesota's offense is off to a good start here in the early going. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Wasaz opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Champion's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident he knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Poked off the puck. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Oh, he got hit by a freight train there. What a collision. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Slides it across to Brown. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Niskanen. Shot! Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out! Minnesota still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Sends it over to Deneau. And a strong physical collision on the play there. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Makes the save as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Still lots of time left in the period. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Wax it into the offensive zone. He's had a lot of offensive zone possession time, and you gotta figure he knows he's one goal away from his next milestone. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Stahl's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And he takes the dish. Takes the feed at the point. Bufflin's got the puck along the wing. Moves it around along the half wall. LA's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Kings will play it from the defensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Jones. Oh, he got paddled by Brassois!
Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, catches him in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Fiala. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Now a quick pass to Doughty. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a stick and off target. On the attack along the boards. Quick pass to Enroth. Sorry, James. Didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Here's an offensive chance. He got all that hit. Takes a shot. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Club goes up, makes the save. Minnesota's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Collins won the draw. Here's a rip, and he makes the save. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Well past the midway mark of this period. Minnesota's up one zip. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Left save by the goalie. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Both teams readying here for the face off. his own face off and he wins the draw makes the save los angeles has the puck now over to lazar moves the puck across to kelly tries to feed it over to kavrikov oh that's a good hit oh wow. devastating hit there oh painful james i felt that one in the broadcast booth minnesota's got it in their own zone and a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Cullen's got it in the defensive end. To the low slot. Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Well, clearly not happy with the ref's decision, but they'll have to play on with this face-off. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Levels him with the hit. Moves it over to Spitz. There's another for the hit parade. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. Hammers it on net, wins the iron. Minnesota's players on the bench are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. They thought they had extended the cushion to their lead, but unfortunately it hit the post and out. Takes the feed. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Michael. Here's the pass. Puck moved over to Fiala. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Champion's quick draw zone ability means he has the edge in the face-off circle and can win possession for his side. Kopitar is a big name for this club and they rely on him to generate offense. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Slides it diagonally to Kane. Great stop by Hoibu's back in the lineup after nursing his injury, and sometimes it can be frustrating and you can feel a little slow to start, but he creates some offense right off the hop. Hoibu's the player that knows the importance of retrieving pucks to keep the play going, guys. His no-contest zone ability means he goes into those 50-50 puck battles and more often than not, wins possession. With the ball handers, they score! And that's back-to-back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it is certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. 
Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. The Wild have been dominating here in the first, now up by two. Well, they're really going to like this period, James, heading into the intermission. They know that they'll want to start the second very similarly. But, man, it's all about getting pucks to the net, not just quantity, but also quality. Looking to set up offensively. And that's Whoa. intercepted by Doughty. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. Rocks him on the play. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Feeds it down low. Quick feed to Silverberg. There's a stop with the blocker. By the squad. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Late goings of this period. Minnesota's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Let's it fly. Turns him away. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Minnesota's been playing in one direction all night, and that's towards the net. And they lead here late in the first. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Moves it to Granlin. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Minnesota's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And that's blocked. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Chris Wall has been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. With the bank pass. And the puck skips away after that move. Champion, so difficult to stop in tight, and he's got magic hands, but unfortunately, this time it doesn't go his way as he tries to get a little nip. Oh! I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Minnesota's got the lead here early in the second period. They have been the more active team offensively. And they win the draw here in their own end. And Ross taking it from his own end. When that puck's on his stick, James, you know that he's a magician and he can deke his way to the net like he does just there. Well, he's known for his silky mitts, James, and they're on display yet again as he recognizes where his opponent is. He's got the poison patience with the puck to open up his shooting lane, and he buries it. Minnesota's on fire tonight. They've now extended the lead to three here in the second. What I love about the puck possession, James, is they're doing something with it. They're not staying on the perimeter and just skating along the outside. They're sacrificing, they're driving the paint, and they're getting rewarded for their efforts. Into the corner of the attacking area. And it's knocked away. Scores! There's 20 of the year for the rookie. Uh, what I love about his game, James, is he's not afraid to shoot the puck. He's not tentative or he's not hesitant. And often rookies, they display those tendencies. He's playing like a seasoned vet. Well, this is a, just a great job all the way around. Net front, James, battling for position. Quick hands to be able to get on the puck and quickly release it and have an accurate shot at that in tight. Great goal. Minnesota's having themselves a game tonight, and we are far from over here, too. Well, yeah, and it's a 200-foot game. It's complete because not only are they putting up some huge numbers on the board, they're also protecting their goaltender on defense, finding a way to have good posture when they need it. And, hey, retrieval's everything. When you have the puck, the other team doesn't. Shot! And the goal 
goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Chris said a quiet night, James. He's been watching most of the game from the other end because of the offensive nature of his team tonight. The man, does he make a nice save there? And that's showing that he's emotionally engaged. He's staying prepared even though he hasn't been busy. Oh, he'll feel that one. Cuts into the paint. Comes up with a monster save in front. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain and leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Directs it on over to Gostaspair. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Quick shot! That goes off the mask. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. Up along the wing. Knocked away with the stick by Moore. The Kings take it along the wall. And that's a great heads up play by Stahl. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way and they lead big time here in the second. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Niskanen stick handling in his own zone. LA's got a hold of it against the wall. And he makes the save. Taken along the wall by Kopitar. Picked off by Stahl. Handles the pass. Sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moves it quickly over to Prosser. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Prosser's walking the line. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Deneau. Grabbed along the board by Spence. Stones him in front. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's 4-0. This has been a one-sided affair right from the get-go. Minnesota's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Picked up along the board by McGosian. You know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Shuts him down. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Deneau. Moves the puck. Good stand-up hit. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. They go on the attack from the left side. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Koivu. And now he passes up to Kane. Minnesota's on the attack. The Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Brown. Centering pass! Couldn't get it to go. Here's a shot! Here's a shot! No, they didn't like that, and here we go. They're going to fight. I didn't like it because it was a dangerous play, James, and you got a player down as a result, and of course you got to respond, and it results in dropping the mitts. Did he ever connect on that one, James? And now look at him on the ice. He's laboring to get up. When the fight started, the fans erupted, and then all of a sudden the tilt went the road team's way, and it got awfully silent in here. Both teams had a chance for a little reset as they step in for the faceoff. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. And it's a quick pass to Heatley. Here we go, odd man rush here. The Kings take possession in the defensive end. Moves it to the middle, a blast! Heatley's stick explodes and he grabs another one from the bench and gets back in the play right away. Oh, this looks dangerous. A chance, a oh, spectacular save to shut down the rush. Gives him a jolt with that hit. The Wild have the puck in the neutral zone. Los Angeles takes possession along the wall. 
slides the puck across to Johnson. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up. to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. It has certainly been a one-sided affair tonight, and we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Minnesota's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. The Kings pick up steam and are on the attack. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. The pass in front! Hits up play to pick it off. Steps into all of that. Takes a shot. Off target. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. And he can't hang on after that hit. Los Angeles has it in the open ice. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Passed up ahead. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. And he was ready for that one. Feed to Corby. It's a contact. That goes up the inside of the iron, and we play on. Moves it to Anderson. Inter 
intercepted at center by Silverberg. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And he handles a cross-ice pass. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Oh, and another stop. Oh, man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Minnesota's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. The Kings start with the puck in their own end. Oh, a devastating check there. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. Nice zone entry from the middle. He grabs the puck here on the point. And that's off a stick. Minnesota's got it now. Whiffs on that. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Oh, and that'll make his teammates take notice on the bench after that hit. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Los Angeles will play it behind their own net. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Fires it into the offensive zone. Gostas Bears lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Cullen. Cannon of a shot! Official blows the play dead as the puck goes out of bounds. Minnesota's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Los Angeles has won the defensive zone draw. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. And that one's turned away. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. One-sided, lopsided, blowout, you name it. Five-nothing is where we're sitting. Los Angeles has it in their own zone. Puck fired in deep, and they'll go for a change. From behind the net, looks to break out. Burns takes the puck. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattling it as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Quick pass to Edra. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Enroth's got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage without his fist, James. I mean, you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Textbook hook check by Kopitar. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Run along the boards. Bufflin's moving the puck through his own zone. Sends the pass over. He scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. I'm not sure he was even looking at where he was shooting that puck. He just wanted to get it off and disguise it in a hurry, James. And it hits the bar, and it goes in. Unlucky break for the goaltender. Lucky break for the shooter. The Wild have to be pleased with their effort here. They continue to attack offensively in the third. This is a feel-good game, James, and you have to embrace these type of games. They don't always happen when everyone's got it working for themselves. They're communicating. They've got good habits, and they're filling the net. after a solid hit. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Here they come on the rush. Answers the call with a big save. We got a penalty coming up here. Here's the shot. There's the whistle, and here's the call. He needs to find a way to manage his emotions here because they're creeping into his game. That's a second penalty he's taken this period. First opportunity on the power play in this game. 
The specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Crisp's got the puck, and we'll get a whistle here with a stoppage of play. Well, and this is a smart play, James. He's made huge saves all throughout the game, and this is a smart decision to be able to preserve the lead. He knows exactly where he's at, and he gets a much-needed face-off. The Kings take possession off the face-off. Too many bodies in the way. Gets it out of his own end. Nice connection on the cross-ice pass. Quick feed to Dubois. Nice save from point-blank range. Quick snap! Stopped by the goaltender. Trying to get it out of the own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Makes his presence known on the ice. Great reach with the poke check. Minnesota's staring down a shutout late in the game. You know they're going to do the best to protect their goaltender to ensure that they get it. But at the end of the day, it's about bragging rights. Listen, the other team isn't able to score. They're not able to penetrate the inside of the ice and cash in. You're feeling it, you love it, and you're going to share it. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke kick. LA's got a hold of the puck now. Minnesota's penalty killers get a hold of it. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Good stand-up hit on the play. Moves it to Fiala. There's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Now a quick pass to Prosser. LA's grabbed a hold of the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Back to the point it goes. Scores! And you got a feel for the kid there. Sharon has his quest for his first shutout. Not gonna happen. Yeah, I know. The rookie's been so good. He's been so effective between the pipes, James. And every goaltender wants that first one. Get it under their belt and try and build upon it. But it's not gonna be tonight. The key to this rush is jumping to open ice quickly and countering in transition fast. That's exactly what happens in speed kills, opening up lanes. But once you've opened them up, you have to thread the needle. You have to have execution with your pass. The receiver has to find a way to put it away. That's exactly what happens, and the shot is money. Quick pass across to Fiala. Picked up along the wall by Talia. Moves it quickly over to Fiala. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And he loses control here. What a steal on his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Niskanen. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Wild have the puck on the attack. Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. And a successful clearing attempt. Here's a shot. Fires it. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. LA's recognize that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much needed goals. Comes up with a stop. Michael's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision, but he makes the play. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Here they come on the attack. Drills them. Temperatures boiling over late here, Cheryl. Boiling because there's certainly frustration as well. And when you're feeling frustrated, it's easy to just drop the gloves.
And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. Hockey is played at high levels, and it's so intense, and sometimes frustrations and emotions boil over. And this fight is a result of that, but the winning team is going to be the home team, and you can feel it in the building. All the energy has been built for the home team. going to start with the puck in their own end. Receives the pass. Tries to get it to Boyd. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Who had the better night? Carlin can stand by. Champion's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Grabs the puck. From the right side, takes the pass. Shot! Just slide to the net. That's a score! And what a counter punch they serve up! Well, you said it, counter punch. You know the coach is going to love this, this quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. I don't think anyone was expecting this move from him, James. It's unpredictable. He catches everyone off guard except his teammate, who's able to cash in with a beautiful pass. Minnesota's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right.
Chile has won the draw. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Well, here we go. The losing streak continues here. And I mean, this has got to really test this team internally, too, I would think, Cheryl. Yeah, I mean, you have to have the mental resilience and fortitude to be able to overcome it. And easier said than done, James. I mean, to be resilient, you have to find a way to get through these tough patches, overcome adversity. But it all starts with one shift, gravitating towards a positive nature, because right now, whoa, you're deflated. Well, and that brings a fun night of hockey to a conclusion, and we will say goodbye. She's Cheryl Pounder. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us from all of us here at EA Sports.